but I can tell you what I would have done first thing this morning. Uh, and that is, uh, were I governor of the state of New York, I would have been on the phone uh, with the mayors of these cities and asking emphatically, what do we need to do now to stop the violence? How can we act in the most coordinated and appropriate way to keep people safe? And beyond that, every day that I am governor will be dedicated and committed to ensuring that we rebuild hope and rebuild our inner cities. We, we, we have seen such erosion and such a, 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 a growth in poverty. And with that comes a degree of, of, as I said, hopelessness. There are those who think that Albany and Washington and government officials are nothing more than people on the inside and the rest are on the outside looking in. I mean, look, with respect, even the governor um, in many ways hasn't even shown up in this part of the state of New York and has turned his back on so many. Um, I, I don't think New Yorkers, uh, those who struggle the hardest, should think or believe that their elected officials are on the other side. No, I'm sorry, we work for you. And so in, in the shadow and the aftermath of tragedy, a tragedy that has been ongoing, lives that have been taken too soon, slaughtering that has occurred in communities across the state of New York, there needs to be a more a more concerted effort to work together from the ground up. And there needs to be a dedication, a real passionate dedication to strengthening families and strengthening neighborhoods and strengthening communities. And so that means investing in jobs, it means reinvesting and doubling down on, on quality education, job training, on, on, on mental health and trauma-informed care, on mental health services and drug addiction services. It means it means instead of sending troopers to New York City, we ought to be making sure that New York State Police are working hand in hand with county and city law enforcement officials. And we ought, to, we ought to make clear that New Yorkers cannot afford to be innocent bystanders. We can't stand on the sidelines while people continue to take their lives or lose the battle to addiction or, or, or engage in gang violence. 